Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're giving you a tour of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. As you can see, this section of the road is finished and this is what the highway is going to look like. We are out by Albion in St. Thomas. So guys, let us know what you think about this highway. Leave your comments in the section below. Now this highway is what you call a game changer. It is going to open up this side of the island to so many investments. It's literally going to probably build a new St. Thomas. Bull Bay is probably going to be the biggest winner out of this highway. Because Bull Bay is a small town now, but it's going to grow because it is the first town you're going to get to when you leave Harbourview or leave Kingston. We out here is Albion. Albion is just on the outskirts of Yalos. Yalos is the big town on the way to Morant Bay. So in Morant Bay now you're going to have the Morant Bay Urban Centre which is a massive development that's being done. It's going to be like a city over there. It's um, you're going to have a lot of offices, all the government facilities are going to be there. And you have another one being built in Portland. But I think they're going to have to build more because Bull Bay could definitely use one. I mean, look at all that's happening in Harborview. So hopefully, why why do they block the road like this the road is finished what, what sense does this make so i think they're going to need another urban center in in bull bay eventually especially with the call center industry growing as it is bull bay is ideal for that now so also in bull bay we're going to have a massive luxury hotel being built. I'm trying to remember the name. But it's, it's uh, one of the Marriott hotels. It's the, one of their luxury brands. I don't remember the name now, but they're going to build it in Bull Bay. And I must say Bull Bay has a beautiful beach. You just driving on the old road, I guess you're busy avoiding potholes you don't really you never really notice how nice out there is with the beach so that is an area that's going to get a lot of development then you have the south coast beach club sun coast beach club and that is under construction also in bull bay so because you have this road you can get to these areas in probably 10 minutes from kingston that's what you call a game changer mark bay has an urban center being built Portland it has the urban center being built and even Yalos has a new the facilities in Yalos are being improved because everybody knows what's coming and you actually have the bath um, fountain over here which is a mineral bath very popular in Jamaica in St. Thomas This road is definitely going to open up this side of the island. And this is what you need in Jamaica. You need to get the population expanding out away from, say, the congested cities. There is so much land out here. But without this road, St. Thomas wouldn't see all of this investment.
So this is the turn to Grand Spin. Now, as we said at the beginning, will be Marantley, those areas benefit. But Grand Spen has suffered because the, the main road used to go through Grand Spen, but it no longer goes through Grand Spen. The road bypasses, the road we're on now bypasses Grand Spen. So they're going to see economic fallout.